Hey guys, it's Hillary and it's time for just a short, quick little Pilates workout. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, go ahead and do that for me, please. And if you have any comments, feel free to put them at the end of this video um, and anything maybe you'd like to see. So we're gonna start on our mat. You don't need any props here. We're just gonna do, it's basically kind of what I do with someone who's new and coming into Pilates doesn't mean it's not challenging. So we're gonna lie all the way down. Arms at your side. I want you to just take into a stop where you are today on the mat. Inhale here. As you exhale, I want you to just take your head and shoulders, curl forward and look towards your feet and just reach your arms towards your feet. Feel like you're taking your legs and you're reaching them as far away as you can and you're trying to touch. Maybe they even unweight off the floor a little bit. And then roll back down as you inhale. And then again, exhale, curl, head and shoulders up, reach the arms, reach the legs. See if maybe you can lift them off the floor a little bit. It's okay if they don't come up, but feel as if you're gonna lift them off. And then rolling back down. I do that again, curling up, reaching those legs. And then all the way down, nice. Now we're gonna take it into the hundred, which is just gonna be five inhales and exhales. And we're gonna pump those arms. So curl your head and shoulders up again. Let's take those arms and just reach them. Reach those legs and you can take them wherever you feel you can keep your back nice and happy on your mat. And we'll pump those arms as you inhale. And exhale. And inhale. And exhale. Just kind of play with the legs. Inhale. Exhale. Keep reaching them. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Doing good. Exhale, you're halfway there. Inhale, try to curl up. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, inhale, exhale, keep reaching. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. And then reach those legs, reach as you come all the way back down. Nice, now we're gonna do what's called a roll up. So I want you to just take your arms towards the sky. Do the same thing you did with your lift. Curl your head and shoulders up. Now keep curling up, reaching those legs, reaching your arms up and over. Feel like you're taking your back toward your back wall there. And keep reaching your arms and your legs as you roll back down. And as you roll up, think about the head lifting, then your shoulders, then your mid upper, middle, lower back. And then same thing as you go down. Think of that low back coming down first, then your middle, then your upper and your shoulders and your head. And just try to breathe through. Keep reaching those legs, reaching those arms, and just find a pace that works for you. Inhaling, and exhale. Looking towards your feet, then towards your knees and then towards those feet as long as you can till that head comes down. Let's do two more here. And all the way. Nice, one more. Nice deep breath. Try to breathe through the whole thing. And now roll all the way down. Good. And then just go ahead, take your arms at your side. We're just gonna take our right leg up towards the sky. Take your left leg, reach it long. And we're just gonna take this leg across our body. So I want you to let that right hip lift. Don't let the right shoulder lift, keep it down. Reach that leg as far as you can without losing your left leg. Meaning it's just stuck like it's standing. Reach it across and back to the center. So let that hip come off. Maybe you get up towards that shoulder, but keep the shoulder on your mat. Now we're gonna take that into a circle as big as you can without losing that shoulder on that right side. So the hip can lift, but that shoulder, keep that arm pressing into the mat. Good, keep reaching it across. You should feel nice rotation here. One more. Keep that left leg nice and happy and long. Now reversing, keep the left hip down, but that right hip again can lift and come back. Inhale. And exhale. Good, try to think about that left leg just stuck. It's like a key in a lock as Kathy Grant had 
with the keyhole leg, she called it. Nice. One more. Oh, bring that leg down. Nice. And then we'll switch. Ooh, tighter side. So take that again across first. You might find this side's a little different. And that's normal, that's okay. Keep reaching. So now that left shoulder has to stay down. Breathing through. Ooh, now we'll take it into your circle. Down and around. Good, so think over, 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 and circle. Back to the top. Inhale. Again, that, now that right leg is stuck, not moving. Let's do one more on this side. Keep looking straight up towards the sky. I know it's tempting to want to watch your leg, but it's good. It's moving. Keep breathing here. Nice. You're doing good. Do two more. Last one. And then bring it all the way down. All right. So we're going to roll all the way up. We're going to pull our knees in. We're going to make ourselves into a little ball. It's called rolling back. So as you roll up, pull your knees in at the same time and just tuck yourself into a tight little ball. Let the head look towards your belly. Keep the heels in close as you can. Make your ball. And we're gonna roll back. And then try to find our ball at the top and rolling back. And up. nice. Woo! <laughs> Lost it there. And it's okay, you're just trying to balance. Finding what needs to happen to come back up. Inhaling. <sighs> nice. One more. And then finding that ball. And then go ahead. Let's just have you lengthen your legs out long. So we're going to go into what's called spine stretch. So maybe the width of your mat, not terribly wide, hands right between the thighs there and sit nice and tall. I want you to feel like you're reaching your legs, staying tall here, and then you're just gonna reach your arms, reach your legs as you again, just like your roll up, try to take your back towards the wall behind you, and then all the way back up tall, and then do that again, curling forward as you reach, and then back up nice and tall. Think about your breath here, use it, exhale. And we're preparing for what comes next, which is gonna be a nice rolling again, and then reaching, but now we're gonna have this almost same position here with rocker with open legs. Do one more, but this spine stretch feels so good. Just round into it. Really think about wherever you feel tightest, if you can get there. And then all the way back up. And then we're going into it, are you ready? Take your legs straight out in front of you. However you can, we're going to roll back a little and catch our legs. So just let them lift and just catch wherever you can. It doesn't matter where it is. Whoa, almost lost it. So here's the challenge right here is this balance point. We're gonna try to get back here. Roll back onto your shoulders. Bring it back. See if we can, whoa, no. So sometimes it takes like three to figure out, oh, there we go, where we are. So don't get frustrated if it doesn't happen or you lose it because you're just figuring it out every day you do it. This is one that I feel is one of those that changes. Two more here. It's looking towards the sky, finding that balance point again. One more. Okay, now see if you can bring it back down the way you came up. And let's bring those legs together and we're going to go into our corkscrew. So roll all the way down, arms at your sides, and bring those legs up towards the sky. So it's just like we did with our one leg circle, but now we have both legs up. So just think about it. Both shoulders are going to stay down. We're going to take our legs towards the right. Let that left hip lift. Go over, over, where you can, keeping that shoulder down, and then circle down, over and pull it back to the center. Now go to the left, let that right hip lift. Over, 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 circle, and back. So those hips are gonna unweight and reach across with those legs, but your shoulders and your arms really staying engaged on that mat. Back of the head, 
staying connected, not letting it get lost. Challenge yourself, see where you can go. Make those arms work. Make that connection happen. Reach those legs as far as you can without losing it. Nice. Keep thinking about, as best you can, that top leg. Staying even with the bottom leg as you go across. Nice, we just have one more so we're even here. All the way around. Nice, and we'll bring the legs all the way down. All right, we're gonna roll up again. So reach those arms back, roll it up, and we're gonna sit up for our soft. So it's the same position as your spine stretch, but let's just take those arms nice and wide reach them and maybe give them a little tug behind you, feeling that upper back. And we're just gonna twist to the right. Twist where you can. And then I want you to reach that left arm forward, right arm back and spine stretch again. And just reach forward, forward, don't go down. Reach forward and then come back up tall. And we'll twist and reach. So think back, We've got a couple of things going here. We've got our open leg rocker position a little bit, right? And we've got our spine stretch, our roll up, breathing, reaching, and back up tall. And twist and reach, maybe a little further. And back up and twist and reach and reach. And we'll do one more each side because it just feels so good, but keep that opposition happening with those arms. Reach and reach. Nice. And then bring it back. All right. So I want you to just cross your feet if you can and just come up into a kneeling or however you want to. I want you to go into our thigh stretch. So your arms are going to be wide in front of you. Slight tilt in the pelvis. If your feet get crampy, you can do this with the feet, but Preferably if you can have like you have shoelaces on and you're pressing in and then from there We're just gonna hinge back And then press back up. So you're just going into what's a nice thigh stretch here and then hinging back and think about the slight tilt at the pelvis and you've got a slight tilt at your upper So maybe you're looking towards your baseboard a little bit forward of your mat So basically you're curled at both ends just slightly Inhaling as you go back just going where you can go Let's do one more here. Reaching back, inhale, and up. Nice. And then go ahead, cross. We're gonna sit back down as best you can. And we're gonna go into our shoulder bridge. So, we'll do a little Kathy Grant roll down here. So you can have your hands on to help. You can have here. Think when we did our roll up, and I want you to just have your feet hip width apart here so we'll be ready when we get there. Think low back again, middle back upper back, shoulders and head, arms at your side. And let's go ahead, bring your feet as close as you can towards your glutes. Oh, knees being happy here. We're just gonna go into a shoulder bridge. We're just gonna do the first part of shoulder bridge. We're not gonna do our kicks today for those that have done work with me before. You're gonna press into your feet and you're gonna lift your hips as high as you can. Press those arms into your mat, lifting up. Think of your knees reaching towards the wall in front of you. And then let's try to curl down from that upper back again, then the middle back, then the low, and the hips come down. Yeah? Inhale as you push up, press into the feet. See if you can go a little higher. And then lowering from the top, down to the bottom. So it feels a little like that thigh stretch we just did. Press up and then rolling down. Might be a little more intense than the thigh stretch, but we warmed up a bit for it. And do one more here. Press up, press into those arms and rolling down from the top down to the bottom. Nice. And then bring those legs, reach them long. Your final work today is going to be a nice spine twist. So look towards your feet. We'll do one more roll up. Roll it up, reaching for those feet. And then just make sure you're in a good position, legs together. 
And let's just try to sit tall, which that's a little hard. Sometimes we want to be back here, we want to be slumped. So just stay tall and we'll take our arms out like we have for saw. Press down to grow taller. And I want you to just twist to the right as far as you can. Grow taller, maybe go a little further. And then back to the center. Keep reaching those arms, inhaling. And exhale, keep growing tall, inhaling. Nice. Inhale. It's the last thing you have to do. Keep reaching those legs as even as you can. And you're just looking where you're going. Reaching and back to the center. And then to the other side. Good. And we'll do one more each side, okay? You're almost there. Keep growing tall. Taller and taller. Taller and taller. And back to the center. Nice. Let's go ahead. Let's just do a nice little hip opener today. Just kind of rock side to side, pull those feet as close as you can. And just like a little butterfly, you're just gonna kind of let the knees lift and lower and breathe. And if you can bring it in closer, go ahead. Good job today, nice. And then if you want, you can just Round into it a little, and you can take your elbows, give a little press, a little release. But think like on a scale of one to 10, you're probably at an eight. You wanna give those muscles room to release and breathe. And then bring it all the way up, shake it out. Good job, it was a nice quick little workout for you this morning. And again, hit the subscribe button. If you have any comments, feel free. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. Have a good one. Bye.